Hey everybody, it's Settler38 here. Tonight we're going to open up a box of Panini's Golden Age. You remember this card if you watched any of the Prime Pack openings, where we were able to pull out a swatch from a historical actress. Also got one from Orson Welles. We have three different years here. We're going to take three different videos to break these open. Tonight we're going to start off nice and early with the 20... 12 edition of Golden Age. There's autographs that's going to be here. We've got six cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Have a lot of different things going on for what Panini is offering here. So there's variations, aqueous commons. I don't know if that means it's an aqueous test thing. Minis, so on and so forth. 146 card base set. We'll see a lot of baseball players, but a lot of just random things coming through here. It's kind of a blend of a sorts of uh, Topps's Allen and Ginter with Gypsy Queen. Best likening to it. But always love this set. I actually picked this up for about 45 bucks from Dave and Adam's cards for their Black Friday special. Had seen that these were cut to the bone. And I was like, well, I can either open a whole box of cards or I can open a single mega. Why not crack this open? We'll also have a box of Cooperstown that I paid a few bucks more. We'll open up eventually for the channel as well. That's more baseball focused, as you can kind of imagine. We have a box topper. So we'll look at that right at the end of things. And then here are our packs. So we'll be seeing quite a few of these. There we go. That light was just way too low tonight. So we'll go and see what we've got with each of these. It's not a product I've seen Panini release in the last little bit. I believe it's a little bit more lucrative for them to come up with the newest and best football and baseball. And, of course, basketball. We start off with Bernstein. So we were in Bernstein. This is what the back of these cards look like so really cool looks to them talks about what their importance uh in american history are ed Brown poe buster keaton definitely watch some of the youtube clips of him if you want to see one of the earliest uh actors that are uh just ahead of their time al unser so we got a racing one that's our first thing the titanic and whitey ford our first baseball card I'm just going to get into the yeah, so we'll get into the shot. We'll leave these packs up here just to get into everything in an orderly fashion. Fun first rip. You'll have to read what's going on in the back of those cards uh, when you get a moment. Definitely find your own packs at your local card store, hopefully gathering dust and for a considerable discount. Secretariat, so uh, Triple Crown winner. Mickey Lawlich, JFK, Ty Cobb. So a few more baseball cards this time. This is the minis. Candy Crofts. Joe Jackson. So very baseball focused and Al Kaline. There are variations on the backs. I've been trying to keep up at least for the full size ones. Looks like we might have something different coming up in this pack. Terrific Tom Seaver, Gene Tennis, 70s A's star, Duke Ellington. Here is our next card. We actually have a few nice cards coming up here. Joe Marty, the play ball style. That is pretty fantastic. It's stinged up. Is this a buyback of some sort? It has to be, because if you look... It's got a little tiny inscription of Sacramento 48. I think I actually got a play ball card. Wow. That is a hit for sure. See how rare those things are. That, that's not all the way in the shot, is it? We'll leave it back there as I donk that other card out of the way. That's fun. Steve Garvey on the mini. Have a Walter Hagen, some sort of golfer from the 50s, looks like. Oh, from the 20s. And Jim Bunning. That is cool. I did not even see that that was 
possible to have a buyback like this. This might be uh, some sort of patch. Yeah, this is a patch getting into the high end of the high end. Fred Lynn. Try to guess who we get in here. The Trivial Pursuit thing. I'm going to guess TV star. I saw somebody else rip this and got the I Dream of Genie. That's a spacer, so it's not even anything to this time. Fred McMullen. Curse you, Panini. After getting such a great thing. Mickey Lalich on the back. Well, now this is actually a different back. This is Broadleaf Cigarettes. Charlie Garinger. And Sam Sneed. Exciting rip. I'll have to see if this Joe Marty guy was somebody. I am very bad at the early 20th century baseball players. Bill Walden. So I got a basketball. Tony Kubek. Another variation here. The Golden Age. Nancy Lopez, LPGA champion from the 50s there. 78. <laughs> My time frame is all off tonight with these cards. Having a black and white does not do much of anything. Uh, Gil Dickey. Bill Dickey on the mini. Another broad leaf there. We have one of the subsets, the Three Stooges, Mo Howard, and Happy Felsch. Doesn't look to be much of a subset. I guess they're just listing that on the box as a subset, as a subject set more than anything. It looks like the... Three Stooges one is just numbered normally. Get a repeat already. We have a small base, so it's not too surprising. Ben Hogan. Man of War, continuing with our Triple Crown winners. Bill Russell. Broadleaf. Johnny Weissmuller. And Hal Newhauser. Still looking for the oh, autograph. And it wouldn't be a Panini pack if it wasn't a struggle to open at least once. That's something interesting coming up this time. Nate Colbert. Padres pick. Bill Russell again. We have FDR Reassures the Nation. Fireside chat sort of thing. 1933 speech. Headlines extra. The only thing to fear is fear itself. As a professor, that is a cool card. I'll have to show my students sometime. Willie McCovey. Broadleaf. So I guess our first mini pull was a hit. Babe Dietrichson Zaharius. And W.K. Kellogg. Fan of gross cereals. This is a another spacer or a relic. I wonder what the original MSRP for these boxes are. I think that play ball card, yeah, it's another spacer. Was well, definitely worth at least a few bucks. Bobby Allison. We get the second of the Woodward and Bernstein duo. Byron Nelson. It's a lot of golfers. Oh, Catfish Hunter. So Jim Hunter right there. The Broadleaf. Red showing iced and Dizzy Dean. Oh man, I just knocked that over. So looking for that third place card, that other hit of the box. The base is fun, but I want to see a very awesome signature. Looks like we got a different card back coming up at least. Penny Chenery, Secretariat's owner. Wow. Jack Johnson. There's our signature. Oh, man. That's a Richard Petty signature. Wow. There's not a number on this, but that is fantastic. Somebody I had heard of at least. I don't know how much value there is in that, but... Uh, Archie Vaughn, Broadleaf. Elizabeth Montgomery, some actress I don't know. Oh, Bewitched. Okay. Edie Acaro, a jockey there. What's your petty? Wow. I'm trying to make sure I don't damage that card. Uh, 
Let's get that in shot as well. Now let's get a replacement for the Whitey Whackers. You watch an old Simpsons episode where everybody starts hurling Marge's pretzels at Whitey Ford. It is quite funny. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bob Gibson, Ike, Jerry West, the Candy Crofts, Maureen McCormick, that Jan from the Brady Bunch, Marsha, Harry Truman, so this is our American Politicians Pack. All right, we're about halfway down to the box. So we're trying to get that replacement for Whitey Ford back here. Now we got it. As somebody that has his Nolan Ryan collection, we're going to throw that up on there. Burley Grimes, some sort of pitcher I'm unfamiliar with. 1920 to 1934. We got a fold-out card of Seattle Slough. It's a fun sort of one. You'll bend it out and the jockey and horse come out. I don't know if that merits anything. We've got a different color candy cross on the mini. Who do we have here? We have Bill Maserotsky, huge Pirates guy. And we have the blue and red variants. This is the first time we've seen the blue. Buck Weaver. And Jimmy Fox. A little spacer in this one. Seattle Slough. Tanana. Joe DiMaggio. Show and nice to begin. Broadleaf, Earl Weaver, getting all the Weavers this time, and Joe Graziola. Yeah, I remember him, definitely before my time, but let's try to push these cards out this way so I don't knock over that fantastic buyback. Willie McCovey. Archie Vaughn, one of the headlines, amazing achievement, George Burns, oh, is this for the uh, 69 Mets? Yeah, 69 Mets card, that's cool. Lou Pinella, Lou Candy Crafts, John Heisman, what's my... Or taught in my school, I believe. Warren Spawn, way back in the day, my undergraduate. And the Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity. Another one of these uh, spacers. Panini likes to hand these out like candy. Blue Moon Odom, who loved signing products for these sort of things. I've seen quite a few of these. Actually, I think he was on what well, archives as well. Joe Torrey, Bobby, Bobby Thompson, Grace Kelly, Broadleaf, Richard Petty, non-signature, and Lefty Williams. Heir to the Quick's fortune with his brother Righty Williams. Okay, I like uh, my dad jokes as a father. Kareem again. Eddie Collins. Bob Beeman, long jumper. We got Ty Cobb, Broadleaf. Duke Snyder. And Jack Dempsey.
I need to crack some of these boxes myself. I'm getting a little bit too much stock in the back. So getting some things out of the way for the new year is great. Cleon Jones. Pete Rose. The Loch Ness Monster, of course. We have Hal Newhauser. Broadleaf. Nancy Lopez and Ted Williams. Last six or seven packs. Might have something fun coming up. Luis Aparicio. Ralph Kiner. Another one of these fold out horsies. I'm going to have to give these to my daughter. Man of War. Oh, I need to crack that open right down in there. Frank Robinson, that is a cool picture. Broadleaf. Harmon Killebrew. And Larry from the Three Suges. Another spacer coming up, it feels like. Jerry West. Grace Kelly. Teddy Roosevelt. Bill Dickey. Broadleaf. Eddie Sicori. Sicotti, excuse me. Those letters are kind of weird sometimes. And Don Larson. All right, let's get a little last half, last quarter, whatever box of magic here. We got some good stuff so far. I really can't argue with those cards. But I want to see one thing extra, something fantastic to end things. Steve Cotian, Cotten, Calfin, Jockey, Tony Perez, Jim Ryan, Myler. I've never heard that. Uh, name for that per type of person running. Weissmuller, Broadleaf. Rudolph Valentino, is he the fashion guy? No, he's an actor. The Fosbury Flop. And Citation, Triple Crown. Gordy Howe. Bart Simpson's, Simpson's love interest, uh, his teacher, uh, Krabappel. Uh, definitely have some letters from him. Bart penned them in a very fun, classic Simpsons episode. Sam Sneed, Broadleaf. Meadowlark Lemon. And Stan the Man Musial. All right. Another spacer here. Getting some repeats here. Tricky Dick Nixon. Bill Dickey. Duke Ellington, Broadleaf. Mazeroski again, and Red Grange. Yeah, these spacers are absurd for something I didn't even have a patch. Ron Takate. Turcotti. Sam Crawford. Ava Gardner. There we go. We did actually get a patch. Okay. Bill Madlock. That is actually a Pirates patch. Look at that. Is there a number on this? Authentic. Enclosed materials guaranteed. Doesn't say that it was game worn, but it is still cool. Let's drop down the Nolan with that. Buck Weaver, Broadleaf, Rusty Staub, and Eddie Matthews. Bobby Fisher, noted conspiracy theory, Nut, Barbara Eden, Bobby Jones, Steve Coffin again, Red Candy. Crofts, Bartling Nelson, Badling Nelson, and Bob Fowler. Final pack. 
definitely good product to rip if you like your football or excuse me, like your baseball, like your basketball, like your other sorts of sports. I don't think they had much on football here, actually. So I was thinking Don Wells, Johnny Bench. There's just a story about him selling a bunch of his stuff for his grandkids' college education, and someone bought it for him and gave it all back. Broadleaf Blue. We'll look at that in a second. Pee Wee Reese and Joe Namath. There's a what I was just talking about with the football. Anyways, this is a fun rip this time around. We got a buyback. Let's look at these cards right quick. We got Joe Marty here. We got Richard Petty as a signature. We have Bill Madlock, and these minis are pretty fun. A lot of similar broadly, so those seem to be the biggest, most common one. Candy Crofts, a few of those. And a bunch more Broadleafs. Anyways, we got a few of these little fold-out horse cards, which were fun. But the big time stuff this time, I'm going to show these off again. Just so cool. That Joe Marty doesn't have what year. I guess 1940, 1941. A little bit of uh, writing on that. And then Richard Petty here. Historical racing figure. Fun rip for 40 bucks. I think I might have gotten my value back, if not just for the fun of it. This has been Settler38. You have a fantastic rest of your night.